You probably have heard people talking about a thing called server-side tracking. Some people say that it can increase your data accuracy of how people iterate with your website or app compared to using pixels, while others might say that they use it to avoid privacy regulations, browser restrictions, ad blockers, everything that make it harder for pixels to work properly and capture the full user journey. Or maybe they mention some other reasons. But what server-side tracking really is, and do you actually need it? Hi, my name is Yevgen, you are at the Marketing Analytics with Avox YouTube channel, and in this video you will learn in details the limitations of classic pixel-based tracking and how server-side tracking is helping marketers overcome them. Please note that this is not just a workaround for privacy limitations, it's a comprehensive approach offering more reliable and secure user behavior data collection for better business decisions based on data. With this being said, let's explore how server-side tracking is reshaping the landscape of digital marketing analytics in 2024. Let's take a look at the usual way of how website tracking works. Let's say that you have a website, and on that website you install Google Tag Manager container, then with Google Tag Manager you install Google Analytics 4. Once Google Analytics 4 is added, it tracks user interaction on a website, those interactions are called events. So if a user visits a page, GA tracks that. If the button is clicked, GA tracks that, and if the conversion event happens, GA tracks that as well. Every time an interaction or some event on your website, GA sends the data directly to the Google server. Looks okay, right? Hmm, not exactly. Because then you are getting into a few significant drawbacks here. One of the primary problems behind pixel-based tracking is the Safari web browser equipped with its own Intelligent Tracking Prevention or ITP feature. As of the beginning of 2024, Apple Safari holds over 22% share of the global browser market, so you can just skip it. On the one hand, ITP is created to safeguard user privacy, but on the other hand, it restricts the functionality of pixels, causing disruptions in website tracking. Another problem is the cookie expiration time. Cookies, which have long been the backbone of tracking, are now almost useless. For example, Let's look at the Safari browser restrictions regarding cookies. ITP blocks all third-party cookies by default. In some cases, it grants exceptions to third-party cookies with Storage API. ITP caps all first-party cookies set with JavaScript to 7 days or 24 hours. And also, ITP caps first-party cookies set by server using CNAME cloaking for 7 days. But the good news is that ITP only acts on the client-side cookies and not on the server-side cookies. As a result, it's possible to have an improved cookie lifespan with a custom number of days or years instead of just 7 days for client-side cookies by using the server-side tracking. And by the way, we've prepared a very detailed PDF guide about the server-side tracking. You can grab it right here, right now by following the link in the description to this video. The impact of these challenges resonates across widely used analytics tools, including Google Analytics and Google Tag Managers, which are used by millions of businesses globally. Facebook Pixel, a linchpin of social media advertising, has also felt the sting of these limitations. You have known this for years already. Conversions are no longer accurately captured by Facebook Pixel as it was four or five years ago, resulting in incomplete data for optimizing advertising campaigns. More of that, remarketing efforts, one of the main tools in the arsenal of the digital advertisers, are thwarted as users are increasingly excluded from these audiences due to tracking obstacles. This is why the ability to trace user journeys has become progressively intricate and pixel tracking now has a very limited efficiency. Server-side tracking is no longer optional, it's absolutely essential to ensure the effectiveness of marketing efforts. But what is that exactly? Server-side tracking is an approach to gathering and managing user data through the server itself. Here is what the tracking process looks like with the server-side tracking. We have a website. 
Then we have some tracking codes. For example, it might be Google Tag Manager, maybe your developers built some custom code that is sending data somewhere. So basically, you have some client-side JavaScript code. Then, if we are talking about Google Tag Manager, you add a web analytics code like GE4, for example. But then, instead of sending data directly to Google servers, your tracking code sends the data to your cloud server. So you might be thinking that you probably get the sense already. But the question is, do you need it right now? How would you specifically benefit from this? And here are just a few advantages of the server-side tracking. Number one, you'll gain more control over the data and who to share them with. Number two, you'll get a higher data accuracy so you can build more accurate reports. Three, you can reduce the impact of ad blockers. Four, you can overcome privacy complaints. Number five, you can prioritize both data integrity and user trust. Last but not least, a cookie is no longer limited to seven days. Thus, server-side tracking is the default choice when considering scenarios that play out longer and your conversion doesn't happen like this. Curious to go and implement the server-side tracking right now? Well, first, grab the PDF guide from the description to this video. Second, let me cover the five steps of this process right now. Step number one, choose your server. Selecting the right server is very important for server-side tracking. Consider factors like traffic volume, data storage needs, and potential growth. For instance, if you anticipate high traffic, opt out for a server with robust processing capabilities. Cloud servers like those offered by Amazon or Google can be scalable solutions adjusting to your traffic needs and ensuring consistent performance. Step number two, select a server-side tag management system. A tag management system, for example, Google Tag Manager, simplifies the process of managing and deploying tags. You need to ensure that the tag management system integrates well with your existing software and platforms for seamless data collection. Step number three, set up your tags. No matter whether pixel-based or server-side tracking, you need to define the right tags for efficient tracking. You need to determine which user interactions or events are crucial for your business objectives and goals. This could include actions like form submissions, product purchases, calls booked, ads to cart, pages visited, etc. And once identified, set up those tags in your chosen tag management system, ensuring they are designed to capture the desired data accurately. Step number four, integrate with your website or app. To enable server-side tracking, you'll need to make specific code changes to your website or app. This often involves integrating the server endpoint provided by your tag management system. Collaboration between the developers and marketers is really essential here. Ensure that data flows from the client to the server without hitches. And last but not least, step number five, test, troubleshoot, and optimize. Please ensure that the tags fire correctly. Monitor the data being collected for inconsistencies or gaps. If so, troubleshoot and identify the root cause, be it a misconfigured tag or a server issue. Regularly review and optimize your setup, ensuring that it aligns with changing marketing and business goals. Now, look, if you need help implementing a robust server-side tracking system for your business, Awax BI Streaming is a server-side tracking solution that extends cookie lifespan, ensuring accurate tracking for the acquisition sources of conversions. The privacy-centric approach, aligned with GDPR and CCPA, allowing you to choose the data residency, encrypt user data, and get 100% data ownership. Check all the details about Awax BI Streaming by following the link in the description to this video. Once again, you can get cookie-less server-side tracking with extraordinary data completeness without unexpected delays, so you can make smart marketing and business decisions faster. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos on digital marketing and data analytics. I'll see you soon.